OTG, Proxy Table Gaming. I am Hyper G with Lucky Sixes. Yo, yo, yo. We um, have a battle report, but there are three of us, not two. What is that about? What is going on? We've got an extra, an interloper, an invader has joined us. Did you invite him? I, I, I no. <laughs> just, I just hacked the mainframe. Yeah, he's, into your Zoom call. He's, he's so good at computers that he's just here. This is it now. I just, I just set up shop in here, and I'm just like, I'm part of this now. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, Jack. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, the um, arbitrator of Jack Ticks. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Which we're very much looking forward to. Uh, more I've got them all. I've got, I've got a new season yes. written, ready yes. to go. That's I've what just we got, wanted. I've had a bit of a rough throat, so I couldn't record anything recently. Oh. But um, I'm getting over that. I can uh, Good. get them sorted soon. Oh, fantastic! Oh, and of course, on the uh, you're uh, you're not just Jack Ticks, which I know is the most famous. Uh, you get and get stopped <laughs> and everything, but you are a thundercock. Yeah, yeah. Um, last Thundercock standing, I guess technically. <laughs> uh, not uh, well in ninth not, age. Yeah, not rate. standing. We won't go. Yeah, yeah. In <laughs> in ninth age, they're all pl playing other games at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I do the Thundercock podcast, which is on iTunes, SoundCloud, all that sort of stuff. Um, I we're te on temporary hiatus at the minute, but I am looking to restart it soon, um, as I'm in a better better recording situation again. Um, but I am in need of some co-hosts because I don't have any. Mm. So if there's anyone out there that wants yes. to do a podcast and talk about competitive ninth age, let me know on Twitter at Jay Thundercox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or put or, it in the comments here and we'll it the pass it on. As well. Yeah, that works too. I'm always lurking mm. in there. He, yeah, he is as well. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But the reason, other than that, which is enough reason as it is, but, but the reason we've uh, got Jack with us tonight is uh, because me and you, Jack, had a little battle, didn't we, in person? Yes, we did. Um, first time ever we battled in person. We did battle once previously on UB, but I'd forgotten about that because you trounced me. Um, <laughs> so, And that one never went on the channel, actually, because it was during a team tournament, our first ever team tournament, so we didn't ever actually uh, put that one on the channel, unfortunately, for you. So it never did, happened. Like I that say, is strength, yeah, never <laughs> happened. Never happened. Uh, but yeah, we decided to have a battle in person, didn't we? Uh, you, you were ever so kind and uh, travelled my way, which was awesome, because it meant I went literally 10 seconds away from my house to battle you, which is you very much appreciate um and um i took on saurian ancients as i am at the moment and you bribe your dwarfs yes yes i've uh i've had these dwarves for a little while now and i'm finally getting around to playing them uh yeah. so i'm super super hyped on dwarves at the minute my brain is all dwarves that's all i'm thinking <laughs> about i said to you the other day that the day we went to go play this game made a sandwich got some mayonnaise out drew a rune of resilience in my sandwich <laughs> <laughs> that's what? commitment that, that yeah, is yeah, commitment. Yeah. not Wait, even it... thinking about it just absent-mindedly yeah. thinking about lists drawing runes you know how it is. every drink yeah. is a tankard as well right? yeah yeah exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> brilliant so we we played um, marching columns um i had to really concentrate on that one because i usually get it wrong after one deployment um and secure targets so six and six i think i rolled them both up didn't i Got double yeah, six. Yeah, did. great start great start yeah <laughs> and uh the story ancient list was slightly amended from the game i had against tony which was about two before this um I think the the short that went on the channel um, recently um, is mm. the list that I'm I played in this get battle. So it was the Quattle Lord as the only character, um, Alchemy trying that out instead of Divination, despite the fact I do love Divination. Uh, trying Alchemy out just to see if it can be used in the buff capacity as opposed to the magic missile capacity. Uh, he is the BSB, which I don't like paying extra points for, but you know sometimes you just got to pay extra points for a single character who does everything. Um, a Aether Icon, Flaming Standard, got the Jade Staff in there to help out the Dinos, and the usual Grasp of the Immortal and Symbiosis with a bit of Magic Resistance in there, all in one beautiful character. 855 glorious points. Oh, I know, I know, but he's, 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 not, bad, <laughs> for a, he's not bad. For a Killy Coatl. Almost vampire yeah. points. It is. I know, it's crazy how it all adds up. Um, I've switched to three core 15 man warrior, Sorum warrior units. Uh, I do like Piranha, Causing Fear. Um, musicians and Spears, ever so simple. Just some more scoring, because against Tony, I literally had two scoring units, and that just doesn't work. Um, Temple Guard is sticking in there. Uh, slightly reduced numbers from the Tony battle, because, you know... Well, this is the a... Temple Guard project. This is the Temple Guard project. They cannot be cut, but they can yeah. be reduced in numbers <laughs> yeah, until there's only, <laughs> only two of them left. Because um. uh, that's usually what happens in a battle. 
Um, Rumpadons get back in though because I miss them too much. Um, they're amazing, even though they constantly fail frenzy charges. Um, chameleons in two weird numbered units, but you know, always gonna have some of them. Uh, two salamanders get back into the list because I had some points for the jungle gorillas and they're good as double double up as chaff and shooting. Uh, and then my usual classic of Taurus or Stegiosaur. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to trying something a bit more a bit more comfortable with uh, three units of soaring warriors in court. I know skin cows are clouds are popular but i just i'm just not very good with them so <laughs> what's the uh piranha totem do again uh, it gives all the units fear which i completely right. forgot in the yeah bar. i was gonna I was say like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a fear one because i didn't take a single fear test all game i know you didn't yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely yes. there we go uh, over to you jack for your yes. list. Yeah. yeah i got uh some dwarven holds pretty standard um dwarven king build one up armor four pages with the what points D3 double strength or strength 10 against stuff as five. Yeah, man. Got a runic smith with denial and some runes of armor and casting variety. Got a thane. Um, he was kind of just I had points left over and uh, just give him some things that are defensive. So he's got a two up armor re roll, so re roll wounds against him and a great open. Got an anvil for a bit more casting. We've got 29 gray bids, the shield for command. Uh, a couple of units of marksmen because marksmen are fun. Some foot. Uh, 30 King's Guard, 20 Miners, a big unit of Miners of Ped Weapons and Throwing Weapons. Just wanted to try them out. Definitely not because I had like 200 <laughs> points left and I couldn't think of anywhere else to put the points other than bulking <laughs> up the Miners. Uh, two units of Copter, two, sorry, two Copters together, a Rune Crafted Catapult and a uh, Cannon. Yeah, yeah. excited to see the King's Guard. Excited to see mm. that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, I, I like the King's Guard. Um, they are. They just keep getting cheaper. So why not take them, right? So yeah. I think you also forgot your shrapnel grenades on your copters. Um, I didn't forget them. I just didn't have a chance to use them. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> I, didn't enough. Good, I didn't have a good chance to use them. Yeah. No, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Sweet. So let's see how we go, shall we? Um, yeah. In my garage, which hasn't hosted a battle since pre-COVID, so that was awesome. Um, really glad to be back on there. You've got the two mushroom tokens, which are indicating the secure target. Um, obviously, dwarves have cornered up because that's what dwarves do. <laughs> it's a tactical <laughs> hill position. Thank you very much. It is a pretty, pretty big hill. I noticed of all the terrain pieces that I put out on the table, you quickly grabbed a big hill. Um, but you, yeah. run, you won the roll for sides. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, I'll start off with my deployment. Um, it was marching columns, as we said. So it started in the bottom right. I think you started at the um, bot uh, top right as well actually um, yeah yeah did. it's pretty much ma marching in parallel uh salamander um unit saurians another salamander stygiosaur taurosaur uh temple guard with the quattle uh then we have another unit soaring warriors um the ramphodons have already vanguarded in this picture and then you got the two chameleon units and a scoring unit saurians going for that secure target you put down the secure the secure target near the lake and i put down the one all the way on the flank um and yeah over to you for your your deployment which you can just about see all of i, I quite yeah. like um sometimes you can uh like psych people out can't you? you put them one side and then go on the other with dwarves you put them one side and stay on that side <laughs> I like I like that quite a lot I, it, well he's got the he's got the miners um, yeah, so yeah, there is that so uh I kind of tried to copy the deployment I'm doing my empire I had a lot of success when I was playing empire on UB so I tried to sort of copy that which is that all my marksmen are in the center there and then I've got my graybeards on the far right of this picture and my king's guard on the far left and the war machines are sort of spread out behind there um, you can't see them in this picture because they're, because they're behind a tree, but I've got um, my unit of two copters uh, in the woods. That's what all of your skirmishers are looking at. Yeah, um, oh, exactly. It does look a bit weird with all of them just moving forward like that. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, obviously the uh, miners are in ambush. Yeah, when you originally put your king's guard down, uh, you had them facing directly forwards and then you like were like, asking me what my Ramphodon's movement were and it was yeah, like, yeah. Yep, change them around so to slowly will that around that, not having yeah, them yeah. behind me first <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a real rookie thing. mistake I'm not, I'm not that great I'm not that rusty <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, I got some um, close ups of the, the dwarf army um, oh no not yet wait a minute that's just a shot of the other side actually so oh, yeah. the copters now, there. there's the copters there they are and I've um, toaded the cobbler, uh, cobblers the copters um, the miners as well. 
and the miners for when they come on. Fortunately, we had to, I, I had to check that to see whether yeah. they were allowed to, considering the miners were off That's the board. Cool. But yeah, you can choose any army list unit, so you can get them as soon as they come on. And some close-ups of your dwarfs, Jack. Yeah, I didn't. I, I did buy this army, so I didn't paint them all myself. I think this entire unit was painted by uh, Mikey Newman. It's like mm -hmm. about a fifty-fifty at this point. Um, mm. but, uh, Still very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, cool. Do you have much more of a, a surplus of dwarves? Um, I, I'm still at the minute. I'm still kind of limited on what I can use based okay. on what I got. I'm still at that kind of stage. Yeah. Um, but I'm 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 working on it. No, so I because I allowed. Um, I think you must. I must have let you choose, or I don't know. Can't remember about running sides, but I definitely you... got the first opportunity to drop for first didn't i and i did yeah yeah that was it um so i i dropped three on the fourth one i dropped for first um basically and um i decided to go pretty aggressive in this one um yeah. stygiosaur basically ran forward as far as he could 14 inches keeping out of the line of sight of the king's guard which is obviously where the the marker was um and yeah he's basically i decided to basically threaten your marksman with with the stygiosaur if they managed to shoot him off turn one then fair play to them hasn't managed to do it really um but if they don't kill him then he's going to counter charge into some marksmen hopefully cause you a bit of trouble was the thinking behind that and the, the temple guard have actually moved their full eight inches forward as well um the taurosaur keeping in line salamanders coming forward um i haven't moved the ramp on i don't Oh, no, I have moved the Ramtrons in this picture, actually. They didn't move very far. But the Chameleons haven't really got any great targets. They can't get around the Kingsguard anytime soon, so they may as well just try and get rid of the uh, Copters with the 4 of armor. So was was the plan with that. I think I've got a picture of that flank to explain it a bit better. Yeah, so I, I basically thought that um, I want to get rid of these Copters. They're Jack's only real chaff, and I want to get rid of them. And if he charges into the smaller unit of skinks, I'll hold and then counter charge. If he charges into the big unit of skinks, I'll also hold and, and counter charge. And I was kind of thinking I'm prepared to lose a unit of comedians just to get rid of the copters. And I'll see if that works. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to hunt them down. I mean, I don't know what your thoughts were on that, Jack. Obviously, you know what you did. But uh... So when, when I saw this, my immediate thought was that you were going to double flee if I tried to charge. Mm -hmm. because you put the, the skinks fairly close to the units behind them, you're going to try and attempt to, to bounce through them. Yeah. And if and if you fail to bounce through them, I'll probably catch you and then be directly in front of something else to be countercharged. Mm -hmm. So, and copters aren't really that good in a fight anyway, so no, no. I wasn't really ever... Yeah. I don't really see um, copters as a chaff unit. Um, oh, sure. I, Fair enough. I see them as a shooting unit. Yeah. So I was, I was probably, probably never going to give them up as a chaff unit, especially because of their cost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, unless it was like absolutely terrible. What's kind of nice mm. about dwarves is that they're good enough in a fight that you don't really have to chaff anything because you should win most fights. If, <laughs> yeah. You know, if no. you set them up properly. Very true, very true. Uh, into my magic, and I cast Swarm of Insects. Oh, this was unlucky for you, wasn't it? I think I cast a Swarm of Insects on two dice, uh, got a six, because um, your dwarf rule made it from five to six, and then you rolled two dice to spell it and got five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... yeah, I heard it by one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hindsight being twenty twenty. Obviously, I should have thrown more dice at it, but um, you know, I was trying to think what other spells you had that were really dangerous, and it's probably the uh, the only other one I could think of is the hereditary spell. Yeah, and even exactly. then, that's uh, d6. Yeah, it's, it's so Bit random. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I should have thrown. But this was this was the most dangerous spell. I should have just thrown more dice at it. I don't know. I'll put that one down the rust. But you know, <laughs> yeah, I should have just sure. thrown more dice at that. Well, to be fair, it, it took me rereading this spell before the battle to actually realise the extra effect of it because um, normally Swarm <laughs> of Insects is the 5d6 wounding on sixes thing, but yeah. this was actually to get the minus one to hit on the cannon, which yeah, is actually yeah. way more important in this example. So, uh, yeah, I was delighted to get that off, especially taking two dice away from you to do so. And got one wound, so always a bonus. Uh, and I followed up with Spark of Creation, which you had to leave to go through. I can't remember. What, what was it that you were... You didn't want me to to cast. Oh no, I got a really small magic phase actually. Uh, um, yeah, I think it was like the like the two card or the or yeah the one card. Yeah, so but I did manage to get this off as well and actually killed a decent number of marksmen. I think I killed five with it. Yeah, five out of five actually. I rolled five and yeah, yeah. So boom, boom very, baby. Very, 
I did cast it on the higher value though, so maybe I just outdiced you with the second dice, the second cast. Yeah, I think you just rolled too high and I couldn't beat you because I think I had two dice left. Yeah, so I just couldn't yeah, beat you. Exactly. Uh, do one wound on the copters with the chameleons, which is nice. Um, I think you saved a few, but I'm, I'm more than happy with one wound. Yeah, they're so. hitting on sevens anyway, so. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we go into your movement. Yeah, your movement, I think. Uh, over to you. So. I sort of worked it out in my head beforehand, and I was pretty confident that uh, that Kingsguard could take the uh, Temple Guard in a fight. I wasn't too worried about that, so I was happy to move them forward. Um, it's also a little bit of a stress test because um, just behind that Stigisaur is a Taurusaur, and I kind of wanted him as well in as well, just so I could see like how much punishment can this unit take, like how much can I do? Um, and I thought, you know, I should just about it'll be bloody, but I should win that. Um, I've also rotated the um, the longbeards uh, around here. So if you charge either of these units, hopefully I can either hold, or if you go to the unit on the left and break them you'll, uh, over into the catapult, I can get a charge on you on yeah. wherever you end up. Um, and you're on a hill, so re-rolls, baby. Yeah, hopefully. Um <laughs> I also got the BSB in the Longbeard unit as well because I didn't want you to just charge a monster in there and then get stuck with only strength four. Yeah. So that's where the BSB is for now. Um, yeah. And Copter's moving up on the other side as well. Yeah, didn't, so didn't I, take the bait. No, Copter's have moved over to try and shoot that Stigisaur off. Again, mm -hmm. you know, all the firepower I can get to try and take that off. Yeah. And you start shooting, basically. I think. Um, I did have a magic phase before that. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. So you got rune uh, of um, resilience. I got res yeah, I got resilience master. off on the king's guard, and oh, I got king's gleaming. Mm, that's right. Gleaming off on the uh, smaller unit of of marksmen that's, there. That's true. Yeah. Um, so shooting wise, cannon misfired. Uh, didn't uh. Yeah, didn't do anything. <laughs> Cap up missed. Um, we hit on the second hit, but you passed the save. Yeah. Um, and then all of the handgunners and the. Uh, uh, attack copters fired as well mm. and did a grand total of three wounds yeah. um we mentioned it after the game as soon as the cannon missed i didn't realistically have a hope of killing that in one round so i shouldn't mm. have wasted my shots on it i should have shot the salamanders or something else um but yeah i ended up just throwing a lot of good dice after bad there really sure. um only did three wounds which is unfortunate but hey yeah. cannons aren't it, perfect <laughs> I, I guess from the cannon's perspective at least by rolling a one made that swarm of insects completely irrelevant. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That must feel so much better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, silver lining and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the Temple Guard project, and I was playing aggressive. I had in my mindset that I was going to be aggressive with this battle. So I charged the King's Guard. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, you did. You know, I was talking it through with Jack as I did it, really. And we were like, well, I especially was like, I don't know if this is the right move. It probably isn't, but I want to see how my Temple Guard do. So I took the charge. I needed an eight on the Temple Guard. I needed a seven on the Taurusaur. I got both, so I really couldn't complain that I got both in. Obviously, if I only get one in, then whichever one gets in is probably in a bad situation. So it's a pretty big risk based on the fact that I know the Taurusaur is seven Swift Stride, but the Temple Guard eight, without Swift Stride is pretty risky. Mm. Um, follow up with the Stygisaur into the smaller unit of Marksman. I think I took a wound on the way in. You to did. Take you got you down to one when you got into combat. Mm. Yeah, which was obviously a bit dicey as well because if they pop two wounds on him, he's dead and then that's obviously not great. Uh, but yeah, Delighted did a bit of a lucky sixes crisscross I like on the it. way in. I like it. So, I like the old... Yeah. Big, big aggressive. This is, this is crazy. I know what's going on, um, but the king is on the right side, of looking at on the picture, and he is. Oh, worked, I want to keep well away from the Taurusaur yeah, with yeah. his uh, runes of destruction, etc. Uh, I move the salamanders into the flank of the Greybeards. You can tell Jack's been playing Eighth Edition, calling them Longbeards. But uh... <laughs> oh, look at that! I can never remember which one is which. I didn't even yeah. notice. <laughs> to be fair, that's <laughs> that's he's normally going to go at me. To be fair. Yeah, it's nice to have someone else to victimise. It's so much harder when you're playing both. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and yeah, move the uh, Saurian warriors up so that they can potentially counter charge if uh, the uh, grey bits don't don't manage to get the flank charge in. And there's confirmation of that other wound. 
Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, indeed. I wasn't too worried about the salamanders. I didn't think the damage output would be like too much to worry about with the mm. uh, armor of the mm. of the greybeards there. Well, what's the AP? Yeah. Is it AP one on the yeah. AP one strength yeah. or AP one? So it's five up armor. Yeah. Uh, but it would be windy on fours, obviously. So. I mm. thought the positioning was more important than mm. the damage that I would take, really. Yeah. Uh, this smaller unit of Saurian warriors is kind of following up, going for the objective. Obviously, their position is woeful if something goes horribly wrong with the Temple Guard. But I kind of figure that if something All goes in, wrong mate. with the Temple Guard, All in. Like it's, it. it's not going well anyway. So, you know, you may as well just play for the objective with them. Uh, the Chameleons continue their task to uh, go for an armoured unit, <laughs> um, going after the Copters, as you do. And the Ramphalons do the same as well. They've got javelins to throw. Why not give them a go? And then, you know, I don't need to rush things with the Saurian unit. It all depended on when the miners came on. We we kind of, we both knew it was going to be miners versus Saurians over there. Um, and whoever won that was going to get the objective. So, yeah, just figure I may as well state my intent and stand near it. And uh, magic for the Saurians. I got the big one, um, number five, which obviously meant I had, like, so many Veil tokens. It was ridiculous. Um, it's a 9 5 phase, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Word of Iron was not cast with a triple six. Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited <laughs> that you'd done that. Oh. It was not. That is Jack's Rune of Denial, I'm afraid. It's quite oh, the opposite. Okay. Um, you actually initially thought about letting it go. It was the boosted Word of Iron. To give yes, because I asked you earlier, so what, what banner does the Temple God have? And you said Rending Banner. And then I was like, wait a minute, he's a BSB. He can have a banner as well. Does he have the Flame Banner? <laughs> yes, okay, yeah. right. Well, that's obviously yeah. the most dangerous spell because it gives you defense and offense with the real to wound and armor. Yeah, exactly. And it was a high roll as well. Yeah. So I, I mean, might even, as well throw the yeah. Denial at it. Even though your King's Adder AP4, you know, I would have gone from a no armor save to a five up armor save. But the, yeah, like exactly. you said, the main point is re rolling the wound with our chemical fire. So you did use Rune of Denial. Um, managed to get Glory of Gold off, though, because obviously I think you dispelled. What did you dispel? The other. You had, at that point, you had six dice left and I had five. Mm, so you, yeah. uh, I think you put three dice on the Jade Staff to give him five at regen. That's right. stopped and then yeah. you rolled three mm -hmm. dice and on glory of gold and it was yeah it was like a 13 or something i couldn't roll two dice yeah. to stop it that's right yeah yeah sounds about right so yeah so i still managed to get our chemical fire off which is obviously awesome it's unfortunate because i was really hoping that you would have like an eight five phase or i would have mm. more dispel dice mm. um, yeah yeah so you wouldn't get because i was hoping with the rune of denial you can kind of kill a magic phase you definitely what could. I was quite hoping mm. to do because then i would have magic and you wouldn't Mm. Yeah, as it is, we're going in with kind of two spells for me, if you count our chemical fire, which you should, and, and one on yours. So yeah, yeah. I mean, essentially, your the re to wound pretty much cancels out my rune of resilience. Yeah. I still got the rune of resilience against the uh, against the Taurus yeah. attacks, so I thought it's not so bad. Mm. Uh, surprisingly, it's the Rampadons that do one wound on the Copters. This time, so. <laughs> That's Fair play to them. <laughs> if I remember right, you didn't roll a single poison with those uh, no, skinks. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, I was still happy to do one wound uh, with the, with all of them combined. Plinky, yeah. plinky. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're no, they're no black cloaks, are they? Those, no, those but speaking of black cloak efficiency, we've got some killer salamanders going on. Wipes off two ranks worth of greybeards. Um, yeah, they they like just... an absolute monster on the rolls yeah. to hit. I oh, know. It was so it many. Was crazy. Yeah, so many wins. So that's 12, yeah. isn't it? That's 12 dead. It's 12, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just insane. Yeah. So that I think the average that. is like six or seven. That's what I was <laughs> thinking in my head. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Ooh, that's a bit Definitely. rough. But... Yeah. Totally is. Um, and. We go straight on to the combat, and Whoa. I mean, there's a lot of explaining to do in the next few pictures, isn't there, Jack? So yeah, we'll I've gone over it many times slowly. in my head, oh, just I to bet, make sure I, I had this. I um, yeah, I mean... Can uh, we just explain it, or...? After you, go yeah. ahead. I'm okay. on this channel all the time, so, you know. <laughs> so, of course, you go first at Agility 3, and you have the um, attacks from the uh, the big Taurosaur as well. You do 17 wounds. Kills off 17 guys even with the minus one's wound. Very nice. Uh, my king is in a challenge with your champion, um, who did three. He did three wounds, which only he's only strength four. So I mean, that was good going for him. Um, mm -hmm. And then my uh, runesmith did one more. So all, uh, yeah. And then my unit went and did fifteen mm -hmm. wounds to your unit. Yeah. Which meant uh, it went between because you had a rank bonus and I didn't because I was eight wide and you charged. Mm -hmm. um, all together, that meant uh, you won by one. Oh. 
yeah. and uh, which was not ideal because I rolled an 11 for my leadership test. Oh. Uh, which is what's upset me more is that uh, after the game, I realized I didn't roll to attack my champion. So I was missing one attack, and I didn't roll to attack. I've got one guy in Did you do it with that Taurosaur. Did you do it afterwards? No, I didn't. Slight, slight edit on that, oh. actually, Jack, because I remembered, not the Taurosaur, you're absolutely right, you didn't attack Taurosaur, you 100% didn't. But do you remember I did actually kill your champion with two attacks? Um, uh, you absolutely correct, so, you did. Yeah, your champion didn't did. miss his attack. Oh. I actually did kill him. Oh. But still, it, you, you are right about the Taurosaur. Is yeah. there any yeah, way we can do that roll now? <laughs> uh, I've got two dice in front of me. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, three attacks on the Live. Yeah. One hit on threes. There we go. And it's the wind. No, oh. it's all right. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> Conscious. is, is um, great. So yeah, I run eleven on my leadership test. Oh and mate. Broke. And because my BSB is over there protecting yeah. against monsters that don't exist, <laughs> um, he uh, is not in range. So yeah. unfortunately, I do break. Big. Yeah. What? A, I mean, you're right. What a bloodbath, though. That's yeah. But yeah, so 17, 15, was, 16. Oh. The fact that I, uh, near enough, I got more, I got more wounds from combat res than you did, despite you going first. Um, yeah. And you had rerolls a wound off. Kind mm. of confirms in my head that they do actually win that fight. Um, it's just, it was the combination of you having a good magic phase. And, yeah. uh, was, what, did the Taurosaur do a lot? He did, did five he wounds. Add... So that's a... so yeah. yeah, pretty much. All combined, actually. I think it was five. I think five. Yeah, because we. I remember you. You forgot the stomp, and then we rolled the stomp. It was one wound, and that was the one wound that made me take the test. Yes, I was. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. True. Yeah, and ju just to finish off the story to make it even more painful for Jack, we actually made a, a slight mistake, and there are the pictures to show it, because we actually forgot that. Um, briefly it was only briefly that jack being eight wide didn't give him a rank bonus yeah, yeah um so initially we thought that the saurian side had lost by one so i actually took the first set of break tests and then we realized that was wrong and went back and you, and you failed it, and that leadership eight reroll <laughs> i Did failed oh, originally amazing. this was what i rolled on my original break test both I units were completely what are you doing sending me into that battle Mm. I know exactly. <laughs> exactly so, yeah. I I even got as far as fleeing the temple guard. You didn't actually, you couldn't catch them because the Taurus or held held in the position as it happened in that scenario. But yeah, we got as far as moving the temple guard all the way behind the Saurian unit, and then realised, oh crap, Jack's eight wide. He doesn't get the rank. I was bonus. reforming, and I was like, I'm going um, from eight wide. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wait yeah. a second. So, <laughs> as it happened, this is really what ended up happening. Oh, so wow. it was. A, such a roller coaster of emotions for Jack, um, going from winning that combat to, to losing and run rolling at eleven discipline. So crazy, and yeah, they were run down the way out. Um, That's by cool. The Taurus, or, That's I think. cool. So, yeah, yeah. So Temple Guard project, eh? Temple when they Guards. attack first, they Very have a good. chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, annoyingly for Jack as well, the Stygiosaur survived the attacks on him. Um, I was attacking first, so I think you only had two or three left by the time you got to attack me. Uh, but you failed your discipline uh, on that one. Uh, I had four left, so I was one off of yeah. the uh, steadfast. The steadfast. Yeah, and then the Seducer run through into the catapult, which so awesome second turn for this. Yeah, it's not a bad turn, is it? As, as, as <laughs> things considered. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And it gets better um, because uh, Jack's ah. turn two. That's the counter charge. Yeah, I failed the charge. What I was hoping was to go into the Stygis or and then overrun into the flank of the Temple Guard. Oh, I silly. think it was like a six or a seven, and I rolled like a f like a like mm. four or something, like a one and it a three on the yeah. dice. I, mean, and, you um, don't, I didn't, you didn't get the, the hill mm. re-roll because I have to end my movement completely off the hill. Oh, in order to right. get the re -roll. And that, that wasn't a tactical genius on my part. <laughs> I literally just moved him forward. I didn't yeah. think about it. Jack was all amazing in being very honest about it. I mean, I, there's no way I could I get think, the re-roll in that, in that situation. Mm, yeah. so. I think I tried to convince you you had a re-roll, and you were like, no, seriously, I don't get it. <laughs> you're partially on the hill, so fair play there, because um, I would have given it to you. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's so very unlucky. Very unlucky. So at this point, from my my perspective, losing the King's Guard in this situation, this is mm. Operation Get like three points. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, at this point, I'm like, what what can I do to get points back? So mm. everything in my turns is pretty much what's what's easy to get. So I'm looking. Yeah, at the just one don't get yourself. just right. I don't want to get twentyed. I, I want yeah, yeah. from the from now on. It just needs to be better than me giving a handshake and having a having a beer. Yeah, yeah. it just needs to be so, better than that. 
So I'm looking at these, um, I think there's nine temple gods left. I'm looking at them, I'm like, mm -hmm. I can get that. Might be able to shoot those off. I'm yeah. looking at the one wound stitches, so I'm thinking, I can probably get that. Yeah. If I can get those two and the miners can do something, maybe I can get a couple of points out of this mm. and that'll be happy days. Yeah, because realistically, you've got sort of every chance of drawing the objective if the miners beat the sword. Yeah, exactly. On that so, Which is probably yeah. like four, four points on its own. So. Massively, massively. And I mean, there's quite a long time in the battle, so if the, the exactly. long bids this is do turn get two, in, yeah to the centre, then there is there's every possibility you could win the objective completely. And that's yeah, six points much. potentially then. Yeah, obviously the Salamanders may have made that difficult by taking so many off to yeah. begin with. But yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So your copters have moved around, start killing off Temple Guard as well. Yeah. Um the problem with you often have with Sword Agents with dwarves is that you don't really have any good units in your army for taking off things like skirmishes. So unless you have mm. um an a, a bomber or a uh, what are they called? Uh, Iron Forge Wardens. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah Forge Wardens. Yeah. You don't have any either of those two. You, you, I'm not even going to waste the time trying to kill them. You know, mm. I could have dropped shrapnel bombs on that uh, mm. on that five man unit, but even then, it's two d three hits. Like, what? Yeah. Am I really going to kill that unit? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Could... whether I've got two or five doesn't make a massive difference, yeah. really. I probably should have tried it points. just just for the sake of getting points, but. Yeah. Um, no, I was. I just wanted to try and shoot off these, uh, mm. these remaining. Um, yeah, in terms of points, the Temple Guard are worth way more. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You start with twenty six, uh, right? So I've got to get. I've got to kill. <laughs> I had to kill three, I think, to mm. uh, to get them under half points. And yeah. of course, a shooting kills two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, still got to put a little bit more. Yeah, got to put more bit more effort in there. Yeah. Uh, and so, in my turn, my turn three, I charge both the salamanders. Um... Well, at the end of my turn, the uh, oh, go on. when you're fighting the catapult, you uh, you did not break it. You, oh, true. Yes. The dwarf form machines are stalling. You didn't do enough wounds. And dwarf mm -hmm. catapults are large, so you can't stomp it. And you had not have a breath weapon left. Um, yeah. You did something like two wounds, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just yeah. held there. Yes, that's true. Uh, and so going into my turn, uh, Salamanders, um, despite the success they had on the, on the Greybeards the first turn, decided to charge into the cannon just to stop it being able to shoot Matorosaur, really. Um, both of them getting in the backfield and Temple Guard charge into the Anvil of Power, which is a great situation, really. Uh, and I also declared a flank charge. That's why the Salamanders weren't going to shoot, uh, because the Saurian Warriors declared a flank charge into the Greybeards. Uh, you have got a hold stone. So it, there is still a decent amount of defense from those dwarves. You'll still get your shield wall, etc. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to just sort of like just kill a few more greybeards, really. Yeah. And yeah. Um, even if you turn around and eventually kill Mossorian warriors, I'm keeping them busy and stopping them from just running through onto my temple guard. Mm. Uh, so over here... Um, uh, just, I think this is just showing that I've moved up. Yeah, yeah just Operation Blinky Blinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that is the result of it. This time they yep. go mental. <laughs> uh, I think you failed all your four of them. Yeah, yeah, you failed five all your four. That that almost that may be the dice there actually. Um, or some mm, of the dice. Amazing. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. All of a sudden. Was that and was that just the chameleons or was that? That was all of them together. All together. Yeah. Mm. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Yeah, so um, the Saurian Warriors apparently dropped their spears on the way in um, because I did zero wounds on that charge. Um, <laughs> I, I got word of iron off on them. Um, which, and forgot. And forgot. Um, because um, <laughs> you, you were... Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't actually use it on my armor saves, but it didn't matter uh, too much. You killed two, but I, 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 I think I lost by one, actually. But um, yeah, obviously cold-blooded. Apart from the Temple Guard tests that I failed and they didn't matter, Cold Blood is guaranteed pass, isn't it? Always, so, you know. <laughs> always. Apart from when it's not. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate because the whole point was going in to wound them a bit, but they're still held in position, which is half the half the job. Uh, a loser Temple Guard to an Unbuild Guard. Um, so there's half the points there, <laughs> uh, but I am blinking away on the Unbuild. And so I think we just, just a little gone. thing that I wanted to point out here as well. Um, I was kind of surprised that you put your uh, Taurusaur where you did because mm -hmm. what I thought you were going to try and do was try and kill the Anvil in one round right? and then overrun off the board or reform okay. Okay. But you, yeah, you be kind safe. Of lim 
yeah, you kind of limited your space here. So going into my turn, I've got the marksman facing that Stegiosaur that's going to charge in the flank. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping to get the overrun because um, uh -huh. at this point you can't escape me basically yeah, yeah, because sure, you kind yeah. of box yourself in with your own Taurus mm -hmm. or there. Yeah, so, no. that was quite fortunate for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and yeah, that, that that demonstrates clearly what Jack's talking about there because the marksman obviously charging into the back of the Stygies or potentially an overrunning into the Temple Guard very much so. Uh, what else does this picture show? Not too much. I think uh, the Salamanders do a wound to the cannon. Uh, yeah. yeah, all three well, of maybe your units, not. Actually. All three of your units stick on my. Um, I think yeah, then you, I think you failed to wound this round, but all three of your units stick on all my war machines this turn. Yeah, I've got four units in combat, and they're all just sort of like not really killing much, but happy enough to stay there all game, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, over here, we still have no miners. Um, yep, I failed think. to come on. Yeah, actually, no. It's going into your turn three now. This might just be a picture of that side. Um, because here they are now in your turn three. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's throwing weapon time. I was gonna say I've had my own bad experiences with ambushes, so I, I do <laughs> I do feel your pain when they're not. <laughs> yeah, and there is the flank charge from the uh, the marksman, and yeah, that is a realistic danger, especially when you see it like that. And, yeah, you know, well, there's string four on the charge, so. Hmm. I think um, in my preceding magic phase, you've had actually prioritised stopping like healing word and things like that on the stage. To, to... Um, yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, because yeah, that's why I let I have Word of Iron go on the other mm. unit. Yeah. Uh, throwing weapons. Uh, you actually wounded really well, I think, um, on this. Yeah, I think um, I've wounded with like all of my hits. Yeah, so. so killed a fair few of them. And yeah, that definitely looks like the, in that battle, the Saurians aren't going to probably hold out the objective based on that exchange. And you are out of line of sight, so I can't counter charge you, even if that would be a good idea. Uh, this I kill a, a fair amount more this time round. Strangely, yeah, you killed seven. Mm. That was really brutal. <laughs> what um, a, what a change! The spears really, don't yeah. like going on the charge, so that's what they're more comfortable <laughs> second time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. you killed more as well, despite having less. Um, oh, actually, were we at the same time? I think we were the same time. We we do strike at the same time. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. It's eighteen yeah. eighteen uh, grey beards versus and a BSB with a great weapon. Uh, versus 15 Zorian Warriors, and uh, yeah. kind of losing that fight, which is quite upsetting, because yeah. I would have yeah. thought that I'd win it. But... Was that was was that the round of combat where you rolled to wound and didn't get a single 4+. No, that was no, the second it round. It can't have been. Yeah, was... <laughs> that was the second round of combat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, All you, right, you, spoiler you, uh, alert. <laughs> you did lose this round, uh, but you passed your test again, so... Sure, yeah, cool. Uh, I think uh, you've got a rune of resilience up on your marksman as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It's... Uh, that was the one that was on... Oh, no, you're right. That is on the Marksman. Yeah, that is on the Marksman. Mm, yeah, because obviously he, the Stitch can stomp them. Yeah. Um, so. uh, do, do, do. Another two Temple Guard die to an Anvil Guard who is taking one wound around, pretty much. Yeah. So, so have we done it in that, that... We haven't done it in that order, though, have we? Oh, um... I don't know. I don't imagine so. But... Me and Jack know. Uh, why. No, we did do the marksman one first because I'm missing a marksman. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. So the marksman completely spoon it and don't do a single wound. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, That's the brutal. Does two there. Yeah. Yeah. Stitch. Uh, and and Stitch passed the uh, discipline test, obviously, which was I think yeah. it was a four rerollable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I rolled a double double one. So obviously, okay. I don't think I needed even need the reroll. I was being that annoying. <laughs> that um, it didn't even get cold blooded, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just. Pull out two double, two ones. Oh, and, mate. Yeah. That's, uh, exactly. okay, okay, so, yeah, we didn't do it in the wrong order, and I think it's just no, bad luck. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. Fair play. Yeah. I think the uh, the Salamanders were slowly pecking away at the cannon as well, and in my turn four, charged the Taurosaur in just to help out. I yeah. I made a mistake in that... Um, oh, no, no, no. I didn't do that yet. Um, Taurosaur, I, I, we worked out whether or not the Taurosaur could overrun into the marksman and it couldn't um mm -hmm. sort of positioning the way after impacting the war machine so that wasn't really a bailout for the stage you saw that was just a way to kill off the catapult it's been four rounds of combat i still haven't killed this catapult it needs to die yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly it's, it's going a bit over the top with that one um there's and, honor at uh, stake as, yeah. I, as i said i've done more wounds with my war machines in combat than i have actually mm. shooting mm. with them this game so <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. I'll bring the Rampadons over, which was always the plan anyway, hence putting the toad on them, on, on the miners. Um, but I said to you, Jack, didn't I, um, that I wasn't entirely sure whether I was actually going to follow up and do this charge with the Rampadons next turn, because yeah. I wasn't really sure whether it would be a good idea or whether I'd just be feeding you Rampadon points. Um, but either way, I needed the Soaring Warriors to draw the miners in. So I'd kind of like sacrifice the Saurian Warriors and maybe take a few miners on their way out um, in order to get the ramp guns to charge. Whether I actually do it or not is for another turn. Uh, moving the other Saurian Warrior unit into the flank of the Greybeards so that they can follow up on the charge or on the marksman if I need to. Um, but they're also holding the objective, obviously. And the chameleons are just going to get front row seats now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to watch. <laughs> nothing, nothing to shoot at. <laughs> so we've done their bit. Uh, anything else on there? I don't think so. Uh, a whole load of magic. Uh, yeah, obviously. man. Um, I get healing waters off finally on the Stygiosaur. So he is now one wound better off and has a five up um, fortitude, which is huge for yeah. keeping him alive. You also felt the need to corruption of tin my anvil, which I'm taking as a moral victory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> massively, massively. Um, and Gloria Gold, now can put fire off on the maximum as well, just to help out. So. What is the yeah. anvil? Anvil four up, four up? Uh, three up, five up. Three up, four Okay. Which well against wrong. the unit like Temple Garbage, don't have very much AP, is very yeah, helpful. Yeah, I was only yeah. AP one, so. Yeah. Uh, in this one, I think very even wounds wise, really. Um, but I think it was the king who did the kill because, yeah, your grave is just don't wound. Yeah, I just I don't run a single wound. It's just how am I losing this fight? What is going on in the world? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, that's upsetting. But yeah. it is what it is. I saw, yeah, they, so I saw their older kin get mushed by a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just run away. So that's what it is. Yeah. So that's not on, not only turned into a keep the greybeards where they are job. It's now actually turned into a just mic grind them out. In combat, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you're worth double the amount of points. Chuck, but hey, yeah, why yeah. Not? Chuck your little two hundred point <laughs> unit in there. Kill the whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, salamanders do their thing. On yeah, the finally cannon. managed to finish them off. Yeah, and just do a little bit of a ninety degree angle turn to separate out the charges for the next turn. Uh, and temple card to make the most of the anvil finally. And yeah, that's. Great, really. Finally got me half job. points. Happy with the Anvil's performance. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best fighter <laughs> unit you got. Yeah, it's probably got me more points in combat than anything else in this game so far. <laughs> to be fair, I think I needed the corruption of tin because I wasn't. Actually, I was, <laughs> yeah. might have actually lost all the temple guard if I'd got that. Um, kill off the catapult as well, and this is a wrong reform. We corrected this on the studio saw. He cannot reform to be in the front because I needed the same amount of models in the flank. So we do correct that before it matters. Uh, but for the picture's sake, yeah, he's now solo with the marksman and obviously with an extra wound. With Jack's wounding rolls, it's uh, looking <laughs> uh, a lot roll, better for I, I think I've had, I think it was 27 rolls to wound and I didn't roll a single six. Yeah, on that guy so far in combat. Absolutely. It should be said, I did not pass armor saves because I didn't take armor <laughs> saves. <laughs> and don't even, don't even talk about healing waters because that was nowhere necessary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, you charge and destroy the Soaring Warriors, so my hopes of getting that objective are zero, so I have no scoring units over there. Um, awesome. Now it's just a... Yeah, and then these are four models in, in response. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, w I hoped that my Soaring Warrior could actually kill a few before you struck, because my agility would be higher on if you charged me. Um, but um, no, it wasn't really to be. Didn't do a lot to you. And you reformed so that my charge would yield a stun and shoot. Yeah, six. I uh, ended up going six wide in the end, just so there was enough distance mm. for me to be able to stand and shoot that. That's right, yeah, it was a bit finicky, but yeah. Uh, swings and roundabouts again over here because, uh, yeah, you start Finally, killing. We do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, just just in time for him uh, for me to get multi charge next turn. <laughs> you actually start doing some wins. Yeah, yeah. I think once again, though, I obviously pass the discipline test. You know, don't worry Dear. about it. Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Standard shoot kills off a Rampadon because uh, they're made of paper, as usual. Um, but yes. I mean, so I'm, I'm still hitting them on sixes, um, <laughs> and you have a three up armor save, which goes to four up. So yeah. they're not that easy to take down at range. Um, no, hard target like, um, is massively important. Yeah, a, a low aim score army like dwarves really struggles. Um, mm -hmm. But one is, I'm happy for one. Yeah, and I, I debate at this point one Rampadon. Yeah, is great. yeah. <laughs> take it. That's the win. Take it. That is like 
eight attacks or something, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, massively, yeah, yeah, with the toad on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's um, at least three attacks. Um, no, at least four attacks with the skink included. It could be between four and six attacks, killing the Ramphalon. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but I did debate not charging at all and just buggering off with the Ramphalons and letting Jack draw the objective. But I figure, come on, Ramphalons, give him a chance. So we'll see. You how. failed the frenzy anyway. Oh, did I? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you said, I'll let the dice choice. decide. Fail. Okay. Very true. <laughs> You're point. right. Yeah, so actually, yeah, that wasn't wasn't my decision at all. Uh, Salamanders decide to go in, and so do the Soaring Warriors into the flank to hopefully finish the job. Um, yeah, I, I I forgot to overrun with my Taurosaur after killing the Catapult. He just basically stood there, which meant the Taurosaur couldn't also charge into the Greybeards, which is I think you failed. Bit. I think you attempted the charge and failed. I, I attempted it because, but it was like quite a long one because I didn't overrun yeah, the sure. previous combat. So, and yeah, now the Temple Guard are sitting on the front row with the chameleons. So, yeah. They're happy. Um, this was the successful charge for the Ramphodons going in. And this is our last picture. In fact, let me go back to this one because I didn't take a picture of the outcome. Um, I think the Ramphodons basically rolled average or better for their Blot Toad, um, Toad Rage, whatever it's called these days. I'm doing it now. Um, <laughs> and um, basically you just... Um, I think you killed, you killed four. I was pretty happy because I didn't lose any yeah. attacks. Um, mm. And I threw all of my attacks back on you. Yeah. Um, I think I my think armor, I just, armor saves were pretty good. So I didn't Yeah, lose I think I just pretty much spooned the combat round mm. uh, yeah. and ended up losing by one and I failed the nine. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, and mate. Get run down. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So, because, of course, <laughs> I do. Yeah. As it turned out, the Rathalons did their job. But yeah, it was. It was it probably shouldn't have been the case. Yeah, I, I think I only killed one Ramford on as well. Um, mm. And then you won combat by one. So, mm. yeah. By the charge. Yeah. Yeah. So and so, yeah, solid, this is solid, the last solid. last picture over here, which is probably, you know, you can see the Stigiosaur has now regained another wound from Hailing Waters. So I just stopped now, trying. I just yeah. stopped trying to stop it. I'm <laughs> like, I accept it. He's alive. I'm not getting yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> And, and basically, we just um, left it as a, a Hail Mary last picture, really. And your king killed off the Saurian unit, didn't it? But we called it there. Yeah, um, yeah. Because obviously... That last now... act of Dwarven Defiance. Mm. Yeah. It was also yeah. midnight, I think, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so uh, ended up as a... Delighted with a 19-1. Got the Sorry. one. Got my one. The <laughs> ones there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for the game, Jack. I obviously apologize for your terrible rolling um I, I, was also, I was also rolling well i don't know if it was so unbelievably good that it but it if, you, if you, i didn't roll bad put it that apart way apart from so. the you know the re-rollable eight that you failed that you didn't have to take Yes, exactly. I say yeah, the one leadership moment. test that you, the you actually, the two leadership tests you failed in that game, one you didn't have to make, and one was a frenzy into a unit that you broke. Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> which yeah. worked completely in your favour. So exactly, fantastic. So, be aggressive is, is is the moral of that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To be honest, I was super happy with the game, even though it was a loss. It's one of those exercises in how many points can you get back. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even when things are going bad, mm. um, and there's still a lot of learning points there. Um, Kingsguard. I mean, they they were winning that fight realistically until they broke. Uh, yeah, they were winning until they were winning until they weren't until they lost. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, they were winning yeah. until they lost. Uh, Which is how a dwarf would tell this story. Exactly, you, you really are getting into the the frame of Ex mind. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good like test for them. That even though even though they're put in pretty much the worst possible situation, mm. they probably would have come out on top. Um, yeah. Because it would have been interesting because the Temple Guard would have attacked first in the next round of combat, and I think that roll went on top of your magic phase, though, which obviously makes it very hard to predict how many the Temple Guard could have killed because you would have maximized your runes of resilience, your runes of gleamings on your, on your King's so, Guard. So, I think what most likely would have happened is I would have reformed the King to contact the uh, the Taurus yeah, uh, and then magic wise, I would have probably got uh, well, I've tried to get a resilience off and I've mm -hmm. tried to get a uh, a revocation off to try and get rid of the flammable yeah. on my unit. Absolutely. It's what yeah. I would have tried to do. Um, so even with the Temple Guard attacking first, I might not have done much to you and you would have wiped them back. So Yeah, yeah and hopefully the King, who's on twos and twos against Torosaur with multiple wounds D3, hopefully yeah. I'll bop Torosaur him. Torosaur will be gone, yeah. 
yeah, my unit can can do the business on yours because you've only got nine guys left, and I think I had mm. fifteen. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was hoping that I could get that done, but unfortunately, third leader test. Um, dwarf war machines lasted way longer than I thought they would, so that's <laughs> a learning point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go away. The front line. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're stubborn, aren't they? Uh, they are, war yeah. War machines. So which is a sometimes people forget. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go away, write some I've got some new character builds, some slight list tweaks and stuff like mm, that. Yeah. That I'm working on and uh I'll bring them out again. Until then, um Hyper G, you're in the book. <laughs> I've got a book. Yeah. I've got a book of grudges. I'm so. I'm comfortable in the book, yes. So, uh, to be in it, yeah, to be fair, you have so. your own little page in the book. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. Now, well, I enjoyed the game. I mean obviously it's it's easier to enjoy the game if you roll it well and everything's going right. Um, M- Mommy was a bit of a wet noodle, to be honest. I didn't do very much. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was nice that in terms of like things that were in my control, I decided to play aggressively. I got the charges off, and they worked. So that was nice from my perspective. Jack's dice massively helped in getting the outcome, but I was pleased that the strategy paid off. Maybe it shouldn't have done mathematically, but sometimes... You know, you've got to go for it. I was surprised that you left your Saurians alone and uh, and didn't leave your Mountfordons over there, and like to no, move. On. Yeah, you just like just say right, they'll just back up the Saurians mm. just over there. Well, I guess That's it was. I didn't, I, I didn't know exactly where the miners would have come on, um, mm. so I didn't want to commit the Mountfordons too early. So they were sort of like waiting in the wings, sure. and I figured that if I had moved them over in my turn three to a position where Jack could move his miners on. He would have just kept them out of line of sight of the ramp ones anyway, so yeah. I wouldn't have been able to charge till my turn four or five. Hmm. Yeah, but yeah, no, it was, it was good, good stuff, really. Was, yeah, Temple Guard Project actually gets something positive. Oh, that's got to be a win. You got to chalk that was, up as a win. Oh, for massively. Yeah, yeah. I was saying to you that um, after I watched your last report, that um, I was thinking that you should be more aggressive with them. Mm. And obviously, in a game like this, it's out. Did you say yeah, that before the battle? Stuff. I did not say that before. Oh, so because you, you, you could have claimed the win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, because even yeah. in that game, like against anyone else that doesn't have a rune of denial, mm. um, you know, getting that word of iron off, mm. I mean, you probably would have got two two spells off that phase. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, well, definitely. Yeah. Or word of iron off, and you would have probably just obliterated wherever you hit. Mm. So. Although, like I've said with the Temple Guard, I think they're good if they attack first, but if they don't attack first, they're dead. I Usually. think my biggest my biggest problem yeah. with them is did they really do anything more that regular Saurian Warriors wouldn't have done in that game? Exactly, exactly, yeah. Because if you put Rudolph's Wound on those Saurian Warriors, then they do almost the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would have been wounding on... Actually, no, I would have been wounding on fires re-rollable instead of threes re-rollable if it had been normal Saurian Warriors. A bit of a difference, yes. but... You'd have had an extra AP there. Mm. Sorry, say it again. You, you might have had an extra AP. Yes, yes, from the rending. Well, rending banner or spears. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> no, you're right. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm defending Temple Guard, to be honest. <laughs> because they did well, my friend. They, they did okay. This is they it. Okay. This is yeah. a good, a they good showing. Well done, right. Temple Guard. Man so, of the match. Honest, no, no, no. Man of the match was the Sige. Sige uh, saw was what? awesome. What? Yeah. 30 hammerers and a king. Yeah, I don't care. Did you My dice killed those hammers. <laughs> <laughs> hammers? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed that battle report, folks. Thanks very much to Jack for coming on. Don't forget, if you are interested in getting involved mm. in Jack's podcast, to put it in the comments or get in touch with him. I'm sure he would very much welcome some interaction with that. Uh, looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. So Lucky sixes. I'm coming for you next. Hey, son. Uh-huh. I'm, I, the last, our last battle, you gnashed me twenty nil. So I've got to do something <laughs> better than that with some yeah. weird vampire list that I still haven't got over. But let's see. Yep, yep. It's on. <laughs> Good stuff. Right. So we will see you for the next one, guys. And thanks for watching. As always, give us some loads of comments. Love the comments at the moment. They're brilliant. Keep them coming. See you later. Bye.